God. Let's get this over with. Like, e, honey. Y'all. As you can see, I have lash extensions on. I don't know what it's going to look like with this look. They're called, I'm just letting them fall out right now. I have a few other styles that I'm trying to test out for my lash lines, like lashes. If you have not checked out those lashes, honey, check out this website. They are dope. My face is already clean, moisturized. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face. I've been using this Milk um, Primer. It's a Hydro Grip Primer. This is the small sample size, but I've really been liking this primer. I've only used it a couple of times, but I used just use, I think I use too much, but I take a couple of pumps and just rub it all in my face until it gets tacky. Because the purpose of it is for your makeup to adhere to it. I know y'all have already heard about this. I'm not showing y'all nothing y'all haven't heard about. But maybe you haven't heard about it because I haven't put it on my channel. But I've really been liking it. I know when I get rid of the sample or small deluxe size, I am going to get the full size because I really, really like that primer. Like... get sticky and everything so i let that dry down i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then i'll be back because it's the same like same 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 brow routine so i'll be right back okay so i got my brows on i'm gonna go ahead and do my face today i want to use the super stay full coverage foundation by maybelline i'm in the shade number 355 coconut this is a really this is a really good full coverage foundation. And I'm just going to use this flat kabuki brush that I picked up. It's actually from the Andrea Renee collection from, I think, Pink and Pearl Company or something like that. But I'll put the information in the, in the uh, description box because it comes in a set of like six brushes. So what I've been doing, I've just been working. Um, I've been really busy <clears throat> and fortunate with my my makeup business and my lash business and just being busy in general. So, but that's what I've been doing. There's really nothing else to explain, to be honest with you. I have missed being on YouTube. It's so hard to go away and then make yourself come back. And I really wasn't intending on taking that break. Like it just was like something that happened. So it's really hard to do that. So I try to like not take away from my son too much. But to be honest, he halfway is not at the house. So, but he's getting older. He halfway doesn't want to be at the house <clears throat> or halfway is not at the house. Um, and yeah, but I legit just been working, trying to work on my business. Um, my freelance business. I have some things that I'm working on to add to my my beauty line and um, it takes money and it takes time. So this is just my conscious effort to make myself get back on YouTube, get on here, edit a video, put some content out. <clears throat> and I've been thinking about doing um instagram videos but i don't have time for that i want to try to do instagram tv but i feel like when i do when i log on to instagram just to do like a live to see if anybody's gonna jump on nobody gets on <laughs> and i have i don't have a whole lot i don't have millions of subscribers i don't have thousands but I don't know if people see people aren't used to me jumping on there so a lot of people i know probably like aren't getting on there as much but i'm gonna put some more concealer on because that i'm doing what i wanted to do i've been trying not to buy a lot of makeup products um if anything i have purchased maybe a palette or two but as far as like makeup products, like I did m the most I was going to do around the holidays, which is when I normally buy a lot of stuff. I really haven't made any major, major purchases. Um, I did pick up the James Charles palette as well as the James Charles brushes, which are, oh my God, so amazing from Morphe. 
of course. I have been thinking about applying to like a local makeup counter here in my area, but I'm like, girl, when are you gonna have time to do that? Like, when? You ain't gonna have time to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye. I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Banana Powder. I have had a love-hate relationship with this powder. I like the consistency of it, but I think I need to get a lighter powder. I said that the first time, I mean a darker, a deeper powder. And I was looking at Honey, but they were telling me that Honey was gonna be too warm for me, but I think Honey and Banana mixed together would be like a perfect color. Comment down below if anybody has tried this um, powder since it came out, or even tried like the concealer. I used the concealer to carve under my brows. Y'all, this is what my concealer looks like. She broke it. Like, this is what my $30 concealer looks like. I broke it. It's legit glass. And I dropped it on the bathroom floor. Top popped off. And I was like, no. Like, it was like slow motion. And I was just like, dang. So I tried to like use it for a while like it was. But I felt like they was like gonna dry it out. So I found these at Michael's. Like a set of these for these and just put it in here. Deep powdered it in there. I was so mad. To set my entire face, I'm gonna use this Locket powder in the shade number Deep 205. I'm still on the fence about this powder. I don't know if it does what I need it to do. Because when I use it, I go to work and I'm like in the office, but I don't know how good it is but I use it nonetheless just to see how because I haven't used it a lot because I got a lighter shade the first time that was too damn light the Sephora lady picked it out so I'm gonna be using the Fenty bronzer in the shade this is Mocha Mommy I do need to get Coco I think the one under is Coco something because this one is a little bit too deep um, I've had it for a while, but it's beautiful rose gold packaging. This one is a, it's red, but I think the other one, Jackie Ina uses the one up under this one, so I'm going to try it. But for now, we're going to use this. Because I do like it. I don't have a problem with it being as warm as it is, but I think I can do, I can still work with the lighter one like the one under this one i may have to build it up but i think i can use it okay to deepen up my contour a little bit more i'm gonna take the contortion book from or the contortion notebook from the crayon case i'm gonna take the shade bobby and just deepen up my contour area and bobby is the deepest shade they have here they have like two highlighter shades and four contour shades and this is a sigma powder brush number f10 I really been loving this one as well. I need to get another one because I love having backups of things that I absolutely love. I don't want to, if I find something that I really, really like, I'm like, let me go ahead and get another one so I can make sure I got one. I'm going to take the shade Bricky to contour my nose. And I'm going to take a little bit of this banana powder. I actually took that. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all remember when I did the video. It had like this um, little thing that like a plunger, a stopper or whatever that went in. I took that out. It was annoying me. I thought it was cute. I mean, it is cute. But it's like it defeats the purpose and it causes like such a mess. And I haven't seen anybody talk about that. But I'm like, I know. I can't be the only one having a problem with this. I also felt like um, when I was on here, like not constantly or whatever, but stuff can get a little bit repetitive and like, I don't want to bore anybody, you know? I'm going to take some of this same banana powder from Fenty and I'm going to use it to carve out my cheek area.
I'm also going to put a little bit on the side of my nose to just carve out that contour area a little bit more. I wanted to do this forever, but I didn't know how it would look. I've seen makeup Shayla do this before, but I don't know what this actually does. I don't know if it's going to make my nose look smaller or what. But I think it'll help sharpen that contour area up a whole lot. So what I'm going to do is jump into my eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes with my P. Louise base. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush and just pat it all over my eye. I want to do a really summery, you know, soft, bobby type of eye. Morphe Bronze Goals Palette. What is it? 35G. Bronze Goals Palette. And I used it, I'm going to say one time on my Makeup Mondays I do on Facebook, which is really, it's perfect for the summertime. Like, it's absolutely perfect. So we really can use this palette. Um, I have the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette, which I have not used. Yeah, I used this maybe one time. This is the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. The actual palette looks like very, very summery. But it basically has 10 matte shades and 5 shimmers. Or like, they're more like pressed pigments or glitter. But we're going to go ahead and use the Morphe 35G Palette. I'm going to go into my crease, let's see, with Summer Vibes, which is like this brown shade, of course. Perfect transition color. I'm going to pat that in. I was just going in and blending it out, but I need to pat that in. Okay, there's this shade in the Jeffree Star palette called Snatched, which is right here. I'm going to put that on. I just want to put that in the center. I'm going to go in with this deeper shade in the Morphe 35G palette. It's called Heat Wave. It's like a dark brown. I'm going to put it on the outer portion of my eye and the inner. Just to give me a type of halo look. And just blend it a little bit with the smaller brush. And then I'm going to grab my fluffy brush and blend that out a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in. This is a clean, fluffy brush. And just blend it out. And then I'm going to take some more of the shade Heat Wave and put it on my lower lash line. This is a perfect summer palette. So if you have not picked it up, you need to get it. Like seriously, I can't even tell. I wonder if I can, um, if I can put some lashes on top of these. While I'm looking for that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some eyeliner on. I'm gonna use a brown one because I want it to not be as harsh. Um, this is the LA Girl Glide on um, dark brown pencil. But I love, I have been loving wearing a dark brown pencil lately. It doesn't drown my eyes out. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna take this Machinist um, Highlighting Duo, and this is called Grind, and I'm going to just apply it to my cheeks. This Highlighting Duo gives me like a really bronzy, glowy type of look without like doing too much, you know what I'm saying? It's like a really natural glow. And I absolutely love it. That looks cute so for lips i want to i want to do something glossy i had picked up this um lip gloss set uh becca and chrissy teigen so i'm gonna try these two i'm gonna use this espresso lip liner from nyx this one is called candy cane i really like that or we can try creme brulee. 
So this one is candy cane. Let me show you. And this is creme brulee. And I use this Urban Decay, no, I use this Sephora lip liner in Rosewood. I use that lip pencil. So I really like both of them, but I really like this one the most. So we're gonna go with this one. To give myself even more glow, I'm gonna use this pink, um, pink light fix plus. It definitely gives off this sheen this bronzy glow something that you definitely want to go for for the summertime you don't want to be you want to be matte but you don't want to look dry if that makes sense so that's why i picked this foundation it is a mattifying foundation but i don't have a problem with it being like a harsh mattifying foundation so yeah so here's the look i hope y'all enjoyed this i know i'm not even gonna take y'all through it i know it's been a while since I'm not trying to be gone for a minute, but like I be busy, so we'll make time for it. It's not, it's nothing. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I will be back sooner than later. Um, all I can do is apologize for it, and to be honest, life has just been happening. So, um, like I said, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to um, be in this space again with y'all, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Bye, beauties.